citizens of Lusanja village in Kawempe Division woke up to a very terrifying experience as police and several ununiformed men broke down their houses. Scattered trouble bricks and the street foundations of what were homes to over 50 locals of Lusanja is what is left. Land is a vital resource that sustains livelihoods across Uganda, but also one that is heavily prone to corruption. The consequences are many, to mention but a few. Food insecurity, conflict, unlawful arrests, death, violence, and many negative effects to the economy of a nation. Uh, Transparency International Uganda is uh, the national chapter of the Global Transparency International which is the Global Coalition Against Corruption. Uh, we are present in over 100 countries globally. And in Uganda, Transparency International Uganda is the local, I would say, representative. Uh, we have got a number of projects running. And uh, one of the projects is uh, known as Land and Corruption in Africa. So this is, this is a project that is uh, being implemented across the region uh, in various countries uganda kenya zimbabwe uh, zambia and also ghana and liberia the demand for land continues to grow it has become a commercialized product in uganda today more so private land the government of uganda has created sufficient legal and institutional framework specifically to fight corruption in the country thus illegal land evictions and other land forms of corruption. Nyanzi, nyanzi yoli nyala jaja nge winasikira e ya zara nga tata nga mbera mdistrikti ye mkono nsange wa mgombo ya ye champsi umuluka gwe kabembe e chalo chikandwa nga wajaja nge umukuza e ya leke wovuna nzibwa uboku banti alabira famile katibwe nakula nengu mao Nagendo kutu kanga etakiri ali yampe wajaji yange Hii kabili na ishitundu Ya tundwa Na henga mungeji ya tundwa amu Chia mani we chalo Awamu na yari vice we Nela senga wange nebe kovana Nela bitunda Kwa manajia to resolve issues at the community level. Uh, we have what we call paralegals. We have created paralegals. These are people we have trained. We have trained them to, to give guidance, to give legal guidance out there. Uh, just basic, basic guidance that and, uh, the community member would need that would assist him before taking any legal steps, maybe going to the Courts of law or being deprived of this piece of land. The National Transparency Uganda, Nancy Indicator Paralego Officer Wayo, Omami Ignatius, Kuhumura, Netuso Naso Okunyamba, Okugoberero Musango Gopaka. Uganda, 
la muuliza na wetu mwa wabirwa na ngene bampita bano nyo bujulizi ta kuchalo nze kuno kwa Charles Chiega le motoze mukono Central Division ndi musomesa ndi kansala chikira ekitundu cha naumira Anthony Big mukono Central Division atenko la kitongo cha Transparency International nga pa Lego ranze coordinator wa pa Lego bonna abali mukono district nze kulwanga kuva mu 2 17 ngoze ku case za makumi ya 3 muemu ezo katuzi maride ku local level ndi abantu tubayita ne tufuna mediation tutegeera gana locally na abantu abali ku kitundu cases ni tuzimalira au kubanga ekigendo wachafe kwe kulabanga abantu basigala bali bumu abantu ngaba agalana abantu ngaba kolagana ngaba ina emirembe tabaina kusika mugwa tabaina grudges Sebatu gamba nti waluwe batu ganti mugende kugombolola zenajja buzinga nzize kugombolola okubuze gombo koti ye gombolola ne bandaga abami abo transparency international tibe bakola kubyachi kubigambo byobwerufu mu butufu babadde berufu mbuli nsonga yonna The objective of the, the, of the goal of the project is basically to improve the livelihoods of men and women adversely affected by the land corruption in Africa. So for the project started in 2013 and um, we did, did quite a lot of work uh, to start with we did um, a bit of research which basically informed our interventions, research land and corruption, uh, um, land and corruption research. And, and this research was undertaken in the, um, Mukono and, 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 and Wakiso. The findings of the research uh, uh, gave us an idea on how to progress, especially in dealing uh, with uh, the issues that, that were raised. Of course, one of the issues that came through the, uh, the, the, the research that we, we did was uh, the ignorance of the citizens on, on their land rights. But also we realized that quite a number of um, the people that uh, purportedly uh, say that they, they have land, majority do not uh, own it. I'm going to talk to you about the person who is in the Kasokoso, Sagar and Koke Rusiwan. But then the government is going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able Egwanga yefe sobolo kugwa mu bubi bwetaka kubanga bata asomese bantu abantu bachangira okubetaka abantu bachanyigiza through security of tenure equitable fair access to land deals and many other ways Transparency International Uganda has resolved countless land corruption cases in the country Transparency International Uganda has brought up to many Ugandans who have faced evictions land grabbings violence threats death Arrests and all forms of illegal land occurrences. We have to be careful. 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 We uh, a very ambitious program uh, with a couple of activities and one of the activities that we we thought would work for the project to be able to achieve the objective that I already mentioned uh, is bringing the stakeholders on board and in Mukono as we speak uh, Mukono Wakiso we established uh, the, the, the districts land districts land stakeholders forums these forums basically bring on board uh, key actors key land actors including the office of rdc the office of the um the la land office for the respective districts the the resident anthony the chief magistrate the civil society working uh, within the district uh, districts um, establishments the Uganda land board the, uh, the Vivanja Holders Association, the private sector, the media to, to mention. So in, in this forum, we, the forum, the, I, I did 
I, I did not mention the Justice Centers Uganda, the, um, the IGM, International Justice Mission. All these were actors that have been, are actors that have been working with us uh, for the last uh, four years. As the mission for Transparency International Uganda to promote consciousness about corruption and society that espouses value systems and principles of transparency and accountability, Transparency International Uganda is still working hand in hand with the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Local Government, Uganda Land Commission, LCs, RDCs, civil society organizations, Uganda Police and the Parliament of Uganda. Now, some of the common land and corruption problems that we do face in the Ministry on a daily basis, the first and most critical one is the one of speculators. This country has very many of these speculators and I think this comes up because we do not have a law on land agency. So anyone wakes up, becomes a land agent, and then gets into the business of dealing, buying and selling land, it has caused very many problems because speculators together with agents go identify land. They, in a way, do give wrong information to the owners and buy it from them at very low prices then they do come and sell it for other purposes at nearly 10 times the price they end up evicting users on this land and this has actually caused very very many problems uh, first of all to start with there are very many challenges that happen when it comes to administration of justice land justice and uh, during our work time that we have been doing you find the majority of the land issues rotate around landlord and tenant whereby the landlords just come and clear the tenants for no good reasons maybe because they want to sell off the land to other people and they don't want to sell it with the tenants on the land so they don't compensate them they don't follow the law they simply evict them and as and the tenants suffer in the long run. So we appreciate all the efforts that Transparent International Uganda is doing in regards to combating land corruption. There is a lot of corruption, and not only on the ground, not only for the few specific challenges that I've talked about, but it's within the court system itself. It's within, when I talk of the court system itself, starting from the lower courts, that is the local council courts, they take the land and they promise to do good to the people, but no good is always done. Uh, the biggest challenge is that uh, there's a lot of expectation out there. People expect a lot from us, but unfortunately we can't, we can't deliver as much as they expect from us. Some feel that once we are there, issues will be resolved there and then. But some of these things take, they have to go through processes. But the person out there feels that Transparency International is here. Now everything has ended. So that's one of the greatest challenges. You have to inform people, sensitize them that things don't work out like that. You have to go through what? Through various processes. And of course that disappoints some people. There is a very big problem with regards to issues of land frauds and forgery. Forgeries. These forgeries actually come from out there and are brought into the land offices and the land registries. Sometimes there is, there is connivance with individuals, sometimes it wholly comes from outside. But when it comes in undetected and unnoticed, it does tint our register because it's, it's uh, being captured means that uh, really the credibility of the register is now under question. At this point, as, as a consortium, as a stakeholder in, in, at that level, we already um, came up with initiatives to create awareness amongst the, the, the public, the citizens in these particular areas. And uh, this particular uh, activity 
it was called, it's called uh, the Land Rights Open Days. It brings again all the stakeholders, the land actors on boards, and then uh, we use that platform to, to, to sensitize people uh, in big numbers on their land rights, including the, uh, the Ministry of Lands. They also come on board and, 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 and take people through the land laws, and then TI Transparency International Uganda speaks about the, some of the uh, you know, know the legislations on, 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 on corruption. So in a way it has really informed the citizens to realize their rights but also to be able to demand for it. These partnerships, especially with Transparency International, we have been able to do so many things. We have created awareness on uh, land service delivery and procedures, especially to women and men, the vulnerable categories, the persons with disabilities, even minors have come asking for information, especially where you have the offices of the Administrator General where they have lost parents and they don't know what to do. So together with the, our stakeholders, we have been able to provide the information and create awareness. So when an organization like Transparency International comes in and ensures that a client's case is followed up to the end, it makes very good work for the client. To start with Transparency International, what they do, according to what we have been working in relation to with them and what we've learned that they actually do, is they don't just follow up your case where it is, they build a long relationship with the stakeholders. Uh, we've been having very many land stakeholders meeting and land stakeholders engagement, and this brings the various stakeholders together. And when the various stakeholders come together, they are held accountable, they get to know what they're supposed to do. We also build partnerships at national level where we, we refer some cases that, we, that comes from um, the citizens, especially in, uh, uh, related to land. We have worked with police uh, in all these areas and what I would say, they have been actually, they are, they, it has created an impact, especially when it comes to building the, the, the partnerships.